Alrighty, here we go again this morning. Um, happy Wednesday. I really thought I didn't have anything to say on today. And so, um, uh, my God just really uh, put some things in my heart. So I want to share with you as we are in life, <clears throat> there are things and situations and circumstances that we, um, that surround us. And I want to refer to it as the deep. It could be marriage, it could be career, it could be a new business venture, it could be diving off into a new uh, arena um, of service to the to humanity, uh, you know, whatever God is calling you to do. Um, but one of the things that God was showing me, he was just giving me examples like, um, you know, when you run, like say friends, you run in a race because we know this race is like a marathon. We know that, right? This is not a sprint in God. This is a marathon. We have to persevere. And that's my word on this morning, persevere. And I was like, God, well, you know, teach me how to persevere. You teach me how to press through the testing time. And uh, the song came to my heart by Fred Hammond, uh, Breathe Into Me. Breathe into me, O oh Lord, the breath of life. And so I was like, wow. And just in hearing that tune in my heart before I played the song, God was saying, "You sometimes you just have to ask for my breath. I said, oh my God. Because, you know, it, he breathed in Adam. When he breathed, when God breathed into Adam, the breath of life into his nostrils and he became a living soul. You know, I was like, wow. So your breath quickens us. Sometimes you get in a, a relationship of a, a supervisory uh, employee relationship, uh, dealing with your children, dealing with your job, uh, dealing with conflict. And God, you, you say, I'm running out of breath. It's hard for me to breathe. If I'm running, I need air. My muscles need air. And because other than that, they become sore, they become worn and you actually can fall. You actually can stop running if you're not getting enough oxygen uh, to your brain. And that's in anything in life. And I was like, wow, God, breathe into me, breathe into me so that I can persevere, breathe into me so that I can keep going, quicken me with your breath of life. And I was like, wow, even if you're a swimmer, you have to come up for air. Or you have to have an oxygen tank on which one. And so when you come up, you're like, oh, my God. And God, don't let me lose my breath. Some people uh, breathe or stop breathing because they, they lose hope. And so it becomes like a dying gasp, as the word says in Job. And so, you know, I just want to encourage you on this morning. Ask God to breathe into you as I'm asking him to breathe into me. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good one.